Hello and welcome to the session. Let's work out the following problem. It says a man repays a loan of rupees 3250 by paying rupees 20 in the first month and then increases the payment by rupees 15 every month. How long it will take to clear the loan? So let's now move on to the solution. We have to find the number of months in which the loan gets clear. So let the loan be cleared in n months now we are given that the first installment of the loan is rupees 20 and then he increases the payment by rupees 15 every month so the second installment is rupees 20 plus 15 that is 35 and so on he increases the payment by rupees 15 every month so these installments form an AP that is arithmetic progression first installment is of, is of rupees 20 second is of rupees 35 third is of 50 Fifth, fourth is of 65 and so on n installments because loan gets cleared in n months and we also know that some of these n installments is equal to 3250 now, sum of n terms of an AP is given by SN and it is n by 2 into 2A plus n minus 1 into D. Now, A is the first term of the AP. D is the common difference of the AP and N is the number of terms and we have to find the number of terms. And here we know that the sum of these N terms is 3250. So here SN is 3250. A the first term is 20. D the common difference is 15 as 35 minus 20 is 15. 50 minus 35 is 15 and so on. So now we put all these values in 1. So from 1 we have 3250 is equal to n by 2 into 2a. a is 20 plus n minus 1 into d, d is 15 so we have 2 into 3250 is 6500 is equal to n into 40 plus 15 n minus 15 minus 15 now again 6500 is equal to n into 40 minus 15 is 25 plus 15 n so this implies 6500 is equal to 25 n plus 15 n square 
So this implies 15n square plus 25n minus 6500 is equal to 0. Now taking 5 common from this equation we have 3n square plus 5n minus 1300 is equal to 0. Now we will factorize this quadratic equation. So we have 3n square minus 65n plus 60n plus 1300. We should have plus 5n. So it should be 65n minus 60n. So now taking n common from the first two terms we have n into 3n n into 3n plus 65 and taking minus 20 common from the last two terms we have 3n plus 65 is equal to 0. Now taking 3n plus 65 common we have 3n plus 65 into n minus 20 is equal to 0. So this implies 3n plus 65 is equal to 0 or n minus 20 is equal to 0. So this implies 3n is equal to minus 65 n is equal to 20 and this implies n is equal to minus 65 upon 3 and from here we have n is equal to 20. Now since n is the number of months in which the loan gets cleared it cannot be minus 65 upon 3 so we reject this so we have n is equal to 20. So this completes the question and the session. Bye for now. Take care. Have a good day.